Day 17 of trying to explain every single node in Blender. And today we have the Metallic BSDF. The Metallic BSDF is one of the shader nodes, which means that it provides data for the render engine to read. The Metallic BSDF has a distribution type, a Fresnel type, and then depending on the Fresnel type, either two colors or two vector inputs. There is the basic roughness, anisotropy, and the rotation of that. And then you have the normal and the tangent. For the distribution type, you have multi-scatter GGX, which is the default for all of the shader nodes, but you can also change it to GGX which is a more lightweight but also less accurate version of multi-scatter GGX and then you have Beckman which is also pretty realistic but it blurs the roughness a little bit less and is a little bit less realistic. Then for the Fresnel types we have F82 tint which is the Adobe tint which allows you to choose a color for the Fresnel at the edges of an object and you also have physical conductor which is two factor values. The first is for the IOR and the second is for the extinction. The default for both of these Fresnel types are for titanium. So if you're looking to use the metallic BSTF for a iron metal shader, you can check out the resources I have put in the comments. And for the roughness, you will know this from all of the other nodes. It works pretty much the same way, but just know that the metallic in the metallic BSTF is always set to one and you cannot change that. And then you have the anisotropy, which will determine the directionality of the metal and then the rotation, which will rotate the anisotropy. Then with the normal, you can add in a normal map to the metallic BSTF, just like you would in the principled BSTF. And then with the tension, you can rotate the anisotropy so there is one point where it kind of converges and with the tangent you can rotate that point if that helped please leave a like and subscribe if it didn't please leave a comment and i'll try to help you